pretty slick flick, huh? I've seen scarier, but that one wasn't too bad. I'm lucky. Sly, you knew in town. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, I, I know all the guys who hang out here. The Monster Marathon. <laughs> hey, I want to see it again. How about you? When? Starts in ten minutes. I'd like to, but I'm all out of popcorn and money. No sweat. I'll buy. Really? Cool, thanks. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the stand for supplies. I don't want to miss the part where the guy's head melts. Slamming, wasn't it? Yeah. Slamming. Is this what they mean by flying high? Oh, let's hear it for Harvey Autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing automatic about that. Thank you. <laughs> where do you suppose we are? I hope we're still at 3,000 feet and maybe someplace over New York State. I don't like that sound. Uh-oh. We're running on empty. What? Oh, my God! Luke! The next time we steal a plane, we must make sure that it's been tanked up. The next time, let's all get tanked up. We gotta find a place to land. Well, where do you suggest? The waterfall? The woods? How about those jagged boulders over there? What? Um, What's that? Here. What are you gonna do? Well, I put us on automatic pilot. We'll ditch the plane in Lake Erie. No, we can't do that. Lake Erie's just recovered from years of environmental disaster. Do you know what dropping a plane in the lake is going to do to the ecosystem? Would you like to try to make it onto a more populated area, sweetheart? Maybe land on rooftops, take out five or six innocent families. And believe me, the fish will thank us once the algae starts to grow. They can play hide-and-seek in the wheel wells. Just think of it as a cute little toy airplane in a great big aquarium. Sweetheart. What's that? A parachute. What are you going to do with it? Wow, that was really cool seeing it again. Yeah, I saw some stuff I didn't even notice the first time. Yeah, you want to finish my popcorn? Sure. I know this great place down by the wharf. We could go there and play video games. That sounds cool. But there's a lot of neat places around here. You just got to know where to look. But there's a lot of places you could hide and adults wouldn't even think of looking there. Why? Are, are you hiding from somebody? No, I was just wondering. I know a great place. Really? Come on. I can't do this. You have to. I know. I know. Why don't we just drive the plane into the lake and then inflate one of those rafts and then we can jump down like the little people do in the safety movie before Shh. the plane takes off. This is not a 747. This is a tiny little tube of tin. And when it hits, it's going to be disintegrated. If we hit the water, we're dead. Come on. Come on. Tell me about those safety films. Do you really watch those safety films, Laura? The emergency exits are located at the front of the aircraft and over the wings and at the rear of the aircraft. Good. Well, our emergency exit is right here, and we're going to have to use it soon because we're losing altitude, sweetheart. My ears are blocking up. Oh, oh. Luke, I, I, I never did this before. Well, think how uh, easy it'll be next time, huh? What? I said, think how easy it'll be. Never mind! Oh, you look so good in this. This is such a good look for you, this parachute thing. I think I should have practiced this first. No, later. Later, uh. later, later. Okay? Ready? Ready? I can't do it. You go, and, and I'll watch. No, no, no. I'll be fine. No, no, no. You just close your eyes and count to ten, and you'll be fine. I can't. You have to! No, I won't jump! Help! Ah! 
Where'd the river go? Downstate a little, then to the ocean. There are rapids and cataracts and a lot of waterfalls. Some pretty big. I like it. It's cool. You'll really like where I'm taking it. Come on. Oh, wow. There's the entrance. How do we get down there? Crawl under here. There's a place on the other side of the water spout where you slide down. Oh, this is even better than my dad said. so they built the town right on top of the Port Charles River. They made these tunnels so there'd be some place for the river to go. Awesome. You know all that? Well, everybody learns about the catacombs in school. Of course, they don't teach you about Catacomb Charlie, but everybody knows him too. Who's Catacomb Charlie? He was a guy from Port Charles. He joined the Union Army in the Civil War, you know, for the North. Except he had this brother who was fighting for the South, a rebel. Uh-huh. One time, his general ordered him into battle, except he'd be fighting against his own brother. So Charlie said, I'd rather cut off my own hand than raise it against my brother. The general got so mad, he took his sword and whack, just took Charlie's hand right off. Gross. What happened to him? He deserted. He hid in the catacombs because he knew they'd be looking for him. That's where he bled to death. Right down here. His ghost has been wandering around here ever since. No way. It's true. My friend Justin has this cousin who knows this guy who saw him. He actually saw Charlie's ghost. How did he know who it was? Well, because he didn't have a hand. He was just waving his arm around with no hand to touch the end. He said he is so ticked off about what happened to him, he'll take down to anybody he finds wandering around down here. You don't believe all that stuff, do you? Well, no. Of course not. It's just a, a story. 